tonight in San Diego, we are here with Juliana from Volare. Welcome. So, Volare, this company, this is a pole art and aerial yoga studio. Did yes. I get that right? Yes. So, tell me, what is that? What does that mean? Sure. So, uh, at our studio, we do dance and fitness, and we do three different types. We teach three different types of aerial art. Okay. Uh, pole, obviously. Aerial hoop. This or is pole art right here, right? This is pole. Well, art. this is a pole, okay, but we this... will do art on it. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> this is a pole. We will we will be experiencing the art of pole on this apparatus. Okay. Um, and then we teach aerial hoop, otherwise known as lira, and aerial yoga. Air, okay. What's aerial yoga? The so we have a series of uh, hammocks. They're called fly gyms, and they're stretchy material. Okay. Uh, that. Uh, we use to exercise in and perform traditional yoga moves, other different types of yoga moves, but some of it's suspended in the air. Okay. Will it prevent me from farting during yoga? That's my no. real question. No. Nothing will prevent that. People fart yeah. during pole, lira, and aerial yoga. All right. And that's going to be part of the art right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, Keith, uh, I think this is here for a reason. Are you going to teach us something? Yeah. Oh, wait. She, you're teaching us something? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right. You, This is, this is the part where we want Anthony Mays to step back in. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Okay. So our first spin is called the fireman spin. Okay. And uh, if you could just step off right. the stage a little bit I'd be here. happy to do so that. So what we're going to do is take, uh, we're going to refer to our hands as inside and outside hands in relation to the pole. Okay. Same with our legs, inside leg and outside leg. So I'm going to take my inside hand high. I'm going to bring my outside hand chest level. And then I'm going to take a step with my inside foot, bring my outside leg around to meet the pole, hold on, and cross my leg behind. OK. So get your dollar bills out, gentlemen. All right. Inside hand high. Good. This is my outside hand? Yep. Outside hand comes across. This is my, this is my outside hand? Outside hand I'm going to use across. my inside voice and my outside hand. Yep. OK. And then what? This? Yes, perfect. You this comes meet around. The ankle. Uh-huh. I kick it around. Yeah. Do I really have to do this or what? Yeah. yeah. All right. Good job, Jesse. You got that. Thank you. I almost hurt myself, but Your I appreciate turn. it. Oh, my, my turn? Yes. Now I have to. Oh. Well, we're doing, we're going to yeah, do a different, different one. Spin. Give him a tough okay. one. Okay. Okay. This is a little more advanced. Okay. Nice. Uh, so what we're going to do is bring our outside hand high. Okay. Our inside hand with a pointer finger down. Okay. Grab onto the pole this way. Step with my outside foot and bring my inside leg through and come parallel to the ground. And now, I do that. Yes. <laughs> and point your toes. Point oh, your okay. toes. So, yes. Uh, outside outside hand high. Good. Yes. Step with your outside foot. Yes. <laughs> Good job. That was pretty impressive. That was pretty impressive. He Good added job, the, uh, that, that nipple rub. That's all him. He <laughs> added that. Everybody's got their own flair. That's you I'll be at Goldfingers this weekend if uh, anyone wants to come in. That is fantastic. So, so you taught us a little something. Mm -hmm. Now, I wonder if we have a professional that we can show indeed. us. We do indeed. Our instructor, Paul, is going to come out and uh, perform a routine. Okay. But before we do that, we're going to get the pole ready for him. That okay. involves wiping it down with isopropyl alcohol and putting some grip on it so that he doesn't slip in case he's sweaty. OK. That's um, not just because of how filthy he and I are. This is a standard thing that you do. Well, I'm trying to be nice about it. OK. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> we ruined her pole. Thank I get you. it. So uh, climbing the pole is a little bit tricky in pants because we use our skin to stick to the pole, but That's, I don't think you even needed to clean it. You just wanted to show us that, and that was cool. And I appreciate that. That was a great move. I'm going to get, I'm just going to get our uh, grip, and then we'll be ready for Paul. OK. Yeah. Oh, he's got it? OK. When they told us they were going to be pole dancers, I didn't expect it would be named Paul. 
Right. But He's a pole dancer. It's a pole Olympic, dancer. Awesome. Olympic okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is Paul. He also teaches pole at our studio. Nice to meet you, brother. So, oh, what is that stuff? And now? he teaches, this is uh, called dry hands. It's a grip that pole dancers use. It's a little bit like chalky for, uh, you know, gymnastics. They use chalk. We okay. use this liquid grip that turns When is this going to be in the Olympics? Because I would watch, I think. It's, <laughs> you know. it's up for debate right now, but, okay. yeah. Okay, cool. Well, this is your audition right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we call it pole art. It's a combo of dance and fitness. That is fantastic. Where can they find you online? Uh, VolarePoleStudio.com, and we're located in PB. Awesome. We'll check you guys out. Thank you guys very much. Give it up for Volare, everybody. We'll be right back right after this. That was amazing. <laughs> 